that's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look. 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> my sister needs me. How am I supposed to get up tonight? Open the damn bag. I need to get these supplies across the bridge. Need to be on that truck before oh. it goes. So, you're gonna miss. How much for it? Not for sale. Excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Oh. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen. I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal.
Red door. That's it. Better than nothing. Here we go. It's just an active war zone. Nothing you can't handle. Get in the truck. Hey, Move hey, it. don't be oh, stupid, lady. Man. I swear to you. I said get in the truck, now! If he moves. Arsal. Get out of here. You go on. Arsal. Guess I don't have a choice. your rash. How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him. I said, where do you live? Arab Tazan. I'm in the middle of something. It conveyed. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. door. Check. Now this way. Shift ends in an hour. Uh, I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. You're moving out tonight. Can't wait. I'm tired of these people. No. Asar says one week. Another week in this shithole. 
Remember the end goal, brother. You still have that bottle of coconut, Atta. I might. What is it worth to you? My eternal gratitude. Not good enough. How the hell did you get a bottle of a rock anyway? Down the street from here. This one guy had a large collection. If there's any left? I only took two bottles. Going over later. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Long enough. I've been with Asif since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. To join the real fight. This place is a sh. He needs more time to prepare. The government thinks we're a joke. They won't think that for <coughs> much longer. Pink Lotus. Not what I was picturing. It was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. I see you too. Holy shit! They took out the first squad! Stop them! What the hell was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down a solve. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be?
He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. All right. Let's do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on. I'll give you a boost up. There you go. Thank you. Follow me. That wasn't so bad. Now what? Patience. Up here. Really? Really. Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? No. Way. You realize we're moving away from a soft den? Yeah, we're taking the long way. Now I'll see why you're always late. Just one more hour. I'll take him out. No, I got it. Cobra 1 to Cobra 5, over. Repeat Cobra 1. Okay, closer. We have that activity, over. Copy that Cobra 1. Shit. Uh, quick work. Well, where to now? Up. Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she certainly lives up to her reputation. Sorry about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, good deal. Up ahead! <laughs> Shit! I swear I had some. There's some cheap office supplies if you want them. 
You're always this talkative on the job. Yeah. One less problem. It's just above us. See? That wasn't so bad. It wasn't. We'll just take a moment. <clears throat> He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Salah and the tiger. Maybe he's closer than I thought. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Oysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. <laughs> Careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? 
I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure, the Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Yeah. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no. You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw up. Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess the Leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! Come on! Right behind you!
we're going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his task. I bet we find these symbols. We find the task. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. It's a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her Salah? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A sov's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it. Amazing landscape. by the way. Your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> now 
Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoysalar exhibitions. I've never even heard of the Hoysalar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to house the tusk. And then led the Persians right to their doorstep. And now us? Hey, look! Flamingo Convention! from the city? Quieter. You come back here often? No, not really. Oil up ahead, go down. Oh, look at this. Koisala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Valour. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balur. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Mm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. That should no, do the no, trick. No. Fraser, move! It's an ambush! Uh, Shit! Take cover! Uh, uh, Make the head up! Okay, we're clear. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Was that intentional? Let's go with a yes. Give me a second. I can wait.
what? They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Made it. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. You don't like it? Like I planned. <laughs> yeah, let's get going. This looks to be it. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's 
lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. Where are you going? Wanna climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, <sighs> someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. In a way. Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map. With an axe. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident door. Another old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot.
your button before climbing up. Was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarve anyway? Purpose? Well, they're not going to. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? That is men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done- Oh, hold up. Shit, there's guys all over there. Well, here goes nothing. In the clear. Let's have a look around. Hey, notice anything about this statue? It's holding a bow. One of our three symbols. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something. We were talking about... What were you saying about Asav? Oh, right. Hang back. Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe an expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. I'll be right back. You got it. Time to go. Sob's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. 
So, Parashama. Parashurama? Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. <clears throat> Okay. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. I should have brought my gloves. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, family. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your man. What the? <clears throat> Shit, saw something. What? What was it? <clears throat> what did you find? We're all clear. That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. On the mountain! Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. Clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sov. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Follow me! Us. Amazing, all things I'm considered. What's hot? That's it. The site is secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Look, it's opening that gate. Perfect. 
should do it. at least. Damn it. See another way over here? Sit tight. Or stand. Stand tight. Copy that. <laughs> Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse -a jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making a bow. Guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. Think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. What well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? 
There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. I suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is open now. Falls and Mountain. Check. <laughs> hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say.
Those men might be around. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Spotted this on the tower, too. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Is the gate secure? Not yet. I've got your back. On Cobra 8. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. them That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant water faucet. Sounds good. Seen a few of them around. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it.
The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Two more to find. You. <clears throat> Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. Southern. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. I think the innermost circle moves the outer ring.
Gilgamesh. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. And now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, I'm coming reinforced. Figures. We shall see. Hello! Brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. We're clear. For real this time. You handled yourself on, all things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled burst means. Right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously.
down by the mountain left. Indeed. Makes more sense why Assault's after the Tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause. Wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians. Everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Hassab fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ow. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Wait. Oh. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. Right. Pick it back up? Oh, right. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. Unspoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Might be more guards over there, yeah? <laughs> hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. <laughs> Glad I climbed that tower, eh? He was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not flowing from that. Definitely. <laughs> Once more, big <laughs> gusto. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it.
They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Not there. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. does not afford luxuries. Well, trade them. I'm sure they will. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey! That's the end! They spotted us! But I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh, my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, statue moved again. Uh, careful, I don't like the looks of this. Coming. Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. No? Maybe. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star, and rings. They're all Hoi Salah sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better.
miss there. Turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. Share. Feels good to be outside. With many. Death. Smelt like death. Let's make an axe.
Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <sighs> I would have made you dodge the axes. Time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. <sighs> this one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. Wait a sec. Easy. Assault's men have that sight. Where were we? Anyway, like I was saying. <laughs> that arms dealer? I broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Just be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Coming? Right behind you. <clears throat> what is this place? You got me. Razor, over here. Look. What? What is it? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. What 
have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. to belong to one of their queens. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. I filled one of the spots on the map. Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Is this going to help us get the task? I don't think so, but... Extra cash. Right. Right. Come on, let's get back to it. Hitchhikers, shoot! Oh, you're no fun. What, you want them shitting all over the seat? Look safe. Smell safe. Let's go.
Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Roy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing... We should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. What the hell? Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. Take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. 
hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. On the stairs down. What's left of them, anyway? Any thoughts how we get up to the Kran? Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Bum. Then I guess we're climbing. <sighs> okay. Ready? You know. Look for a way up. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. You know what? Up here! Coming! Go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, it's oh. Oh. oh boy! It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <clears throat> <clears throat> because you said, please. I didn't, actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Hanabadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. you know they're doing great China what we're doing better when we get to the car surprised we haven't seen the sub yet not on wood Dark with him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> Hmm. 
I think I see a place we could swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. Now, oh. how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't you, Mrs. <laughs> Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. <laughs> wow, <laughs> nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia, like a normal person. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you? Incredible. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. Out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my armaments. It's not Persian? Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. Go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. 
the... What the hell? Jesus. This was it? Their final stand? Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. This device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Oh, well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. Hey, it's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows match the mules. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Careful. Hmm. Amazing. What the shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? 
and the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Uh, Grab the edge, quick! Huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. Fraser, come on. We don't have time to play Marco Polo. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Nothing. You all right? Huh. <laughs> so they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asal's keeping his men in the dark? Oh, undoubtedly. Okay, good. You're making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Right. You yeah, take left, I, I take right. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. Hey. <sighs> Above you. <gasps> hey. um. oh. Nothing personal.
God damn it! We've got this! Never knew what hit him. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, you would pay for that. <clears throat> We're not in the line of fire. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. <laughs> Up here. Think there's a way through. Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Hear that? I do. Yep. There's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. The Eye of Shiva. Impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. 
They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? All right. So, in times of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Come, let's make this quick. You're making this easy. Give me back my disc. Come get it. So slow. Shit. Hell. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. Slippery. <laughs> you see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. <laughs> Take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, Sav's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Uh, can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit.
Up here. Go slow. The gate. We made it. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, we better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sav made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. <sighs> and to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. This is what I get for being honest. Soft in the door. Well, Mandy's not too far. Oh. Ouch! Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. Here goes nothing. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> well, at least I've still got my dignity. like it. Oh, she 
she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. You all right? Come back for more. Save it. Never get anywhere with these bastards looking for us. Come on.
armor. Welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Whoa, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like.
I'll be there. Oh, wow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. Don't mind us. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. some of this? Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice.
so. Listen, Fraser, you don't have to. Oh! It's a Dewey. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant. Stop! She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today. At least we reunited a family. Oh, just keep your distance. <laughs> that bull will kill you. I suppose it would be a shame to come all this way and die right now here. Maybe it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. Up here. Hey, upstairs. I see light through the water. Wow. A 
Hello, Balua. <gasps> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from a soft. Apart from Assaf. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. There's a door over here. Might be a way through. Right. Back to it.
Ah, let's see where this goes. Not here again. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa, up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. <laughs> It's a shame, in a way. The lure's hidden from the world. Now I know why. There we go. Up this way. Getting more and more spectacular. Damn it! They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Got to be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bath? Or a well? Possibly both. some kind of cenote. Oh, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kunnad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so.
Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Dad was here. <laughs> Something big, all right. Oh, why didn't that stupid bastard tell me? You said it yourself. He wanted to keep you safe. I can't let a Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Okay.
That's our way back in. Copy that. Hi, you all right? Sorry, I just need to get my head back in the game and I'll be- Hey! Aideen Ross! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, smart ass! I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. We can swing over now. Place is started. Okay. Be easy, does it? Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? What on earth is this place? A throne room, a place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. <laughs> Are the stairs going up? But they're mostly broken. Well, up. <laughs> Shit, I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. Looking. Over here, Nadine. Copy that.
Ah, now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. I'll give this a spin. The hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Coming? I'm going to snooze the other side. Okay. Ah, there's another crank up ahead. I better get a move on. No going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. I can see my house from here. I'll be right down.
Aha! Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. <laughs> Bringing down Shiva's drum. Like the trident. Time to move. Come on, jump to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Turn the water on for this side. And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Look. Oh. Shall we? That it? We'll find out in a moment. Light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. You were right? Of course I was. About what? What you said, back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three things, and Shiva's third eye. Light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not in the right frame. <gasps> ah, right. Uh. 
Nadine, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Oh shit, this one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. <clears throat> there. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. <laughs> right. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. water. It's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit! <laughs> ah! Was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. 
Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't!
Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Patience. Wait a minute. He's yielding. to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? Uh, I, I don't understand. It's an idiom. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes!
No water logs. <laughs> Going great. <laughs> I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> Doc! Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did a soft get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard a soft talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Uh. 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 I saw we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried to solve the cage. You almost never talked shop in front of me. I can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoisala crap. Hoist the law. Yeah, that too. By the way. Thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I really thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. <coughs> kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. Well, it's either British or Portuguese. 1500s, they're not quite modern. <coughs> Get you there? Chopper! It's circling. Saw things we're dead. Let's try to keep that way. Oh, no, Nadine. We're not on a first name basis. Okay, fine. I heard you worked for us off too. How the how did you deal with the torture? What? What do you mean? Did he torture you? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't stop talking about himself or his cards. It's like I get it, man. You don't have to sell me. I don't. <laughs> I'm just here to make some scratch. I stand it and keep treading on incessantly. Here we go. This way. Copy that. Should have packed my machete. It'll help? No problem. Go ahead. You first. Much obliged. Wow.
Hey, where's Sam? Don't think he had to Oh, right. Forgot about that. He can talk about that. Might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. <laughs> Damn, you were choking. I never joke about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your robe. But... One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I didn't do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him then. Uh, yeah. oh, got it. Anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? This should work. Huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Are you too kind? No. She's just worried I'd kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, quarter. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. A little precarious. Where are we? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, okay. You all right? Yeah. Great, I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Get me! Come on, hey! I said don't move. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, ow, ow! <laughs> hey, too, Chloe. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the rope for me, please. You got it! <laughs> There's a cave up there. Might <laughs> cut through to the tricks. <laughs> I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Okay. What is this place? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... What? That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. Son of a bitch. Sure? What the hell are they doing there? We got way of all these hey. You two go ahead and just... <gasps> she said she was cool!
word? What? Just following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from Shoreline get the tusk. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. Fraser, you go first. Thanks. How are you doing in there? Good. We're nearly to the rail yard. Shouldn't be long now. Necessary. Okay. Now then. Nearly to the rail yard. God's ball, she's alive. <laughs> Nadine, she's over here. Are you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? On the radio tower. Hey, D, do you see way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. Embrace it against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. That doesn't sound good! It's buckling! Jesus! Not quickly! Okay. Get up here! Go, go, go! Sam, hold on to that bar! I'm doing it! Oh, shit. Well, it looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> So, you never heard us talk about Tronon? Swear to God, all I'd heard from his men was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain and they were looking for outside help. <laughs> the Sov must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline's willing to take money from anyone. I, I mean... Forget it. It's true. Here. You can use this to get up that wall. Let me help you. <laughs> Hey, you know, this might actually work. You know, you could help if you wanted. Nah, it's all right. You two got it. Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. Lined up now. Back to the cart. Almost there. Look out! I didn't see that coming. Everyone all right? Fine. Uh, yeah. So much for our way up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. No, no good. Way through here is blocked. Ah, great. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this, sure. Ready when you are. Have you ever Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> great. 
Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Direct to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? I certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl on the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> okay, Sam, what do you got? I have found a crate. Well, of course you did. Here, I'll put you down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right, good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go, that's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... your brain. <laughs> the noodle, it's a saying, is in your brain? That is not what I pictured. It was a compliment, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Oh, right. Need to switch the tracks. There we go. Old switcheroo. turn, Miss Ross. Don't call me that. Yeah, well, it's professional courtesy. In that case, call me ma'am. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't do that. My rope. Go ahead. He can use mine. I'm part of the rope club. I'm honored. Just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We. <clears throat> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's Asav with. <sighs> Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. <sighs> right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. A lot of playing, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Set these off, chappies. No word from our lookout, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Ms. Roth. Aren't you that? Oh, great. The chopper's airborne. 
Well, there goes our tusk. No. Now stick around to clean house first. Clean us. Shit! Bullets aren't doing a damn thing! done with my company made it profitable for starters i think that was a rhetorical question love i should have shot you back on that god for second island i wish you had it would have spared us a sight of watching you turn tail and run how would you just hash your shit out on your own time okay uh tusk please you too 
partners. <laughs> Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. <clears throat> Catch. Gun! Nice <laughs> shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh. <sighs> Mind if you see that first? Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting, Chloe, Chef. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. Can you hang on a goddamn second? It's a bomb. What? A sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What? You're not going to leave me back there with her. Out! No! I call shotgun. <laughs> Fine. I'll sit in the back. Keep your eyes on your road, then. Hey, Sam, did you want to drive? I mean, I... Too bad. Buckle up, buttercup. Whoa! Look, this isn't my car. Run them off the road! Out of my way! 
There's the train! Sam, take care of the task. Don't you worry. Get closer and I can jump aboard. You got it. Come on! I'll pull you aboard! I got it! Go get him, lady! No shit! Good luck, mate. Think he'll be all right? Didn't know you cared. Uh, he's got the task. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. Shit, nowhere to climb. This is really dangerous. Let's try the other side. Now. Okay, good. Making progress. Out here! Oh, shit! Company's here! A solves, guys. Well, we still have the element of surprise. Oh, 
thinking. That's definitely the engine. 
We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no! Oh. I've welded it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hatch. Think about what you're doing. Just do it. Welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. The switch? What? Up ahead, the switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train, buy us some time. All right, let's go. You cannot bear me to ride. Oh shit, Nadine! Well enough alone. Don't have much time. Too, I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Oh, shit! God damn it! Go! I'll keep him at bay. Hey! Not across them! Light them up! All right, asshole! Let's do this! Okay, there's the train. But how the hell do I get on board? Can't see any bridges or crossings. Well, shit. Can't believe that worked. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit.
No! I've always considered myself a patient man. But you two are a special breed of mongrel. Rude? I'm really going to enjoy this. Come! Show me how it's done. Fight me! Take him out! Practice this off! Uh, you'd risk your lives. And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. Damn it! Take them out! Thought you were supposed to be good, Assault! <laughs> What are you waiting for? This is my land. What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb. I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg me to save them. Let's finish this. Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Oh, shit. And you! It ain't! Now I'm coming! You could have done it now! Gotta get up! Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! Sheep will need their shepherd, and you will have died in vain. I will die a thousand deaths before I let you win. Oh shit! Friendly reminder, the bridge! Shut up and fight! Let's finish this! Go! <laughs> Piece of shit! You've ruined everything! Everything! My cleansing would have been beautiful! Why didn't you just die? get out of that you know I'm just still figuring that out myself and uh Asav I'm down with this train oh, well couldn't have happened to a nicer guy oh. 
Will you look at that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> hmm. Yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really. If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. Know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner? Uh, Not you. Okay. Ah, <gasps> oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> And where's the tusk? You got... Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking, there you go. You're fi- Ow! Okay. Jesus. Well, a cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh... How much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well... Surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a... Generous. Yeah, yeah. Find us, V. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Oh my god, you're serious. I got it. Private collector. Huh? Just hear me out for a second. I, I, I understand taking the moral high ground, and that's great. It really is. I am completely on board for that. But if we could just... Don't ruin the moment. 